What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Ossentoski here, Amazing Brew, bringing you another basketball highlights video. This one's a bit late. Uh, this was Michigan's game against Nebraska on Christmas Day. Michigan won 80-59 to over the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Again, this was on Christmas Day, so apologies for the brief delay on this. I was busy with some family, with some uh, Christmas things, but I'm back here again and ready to go for 2021. Michigan improves to 7-0 on the season with this game, but let's just hop right into the highlights here. Let's get this going. All right, so the pregame warm-up here, Jawan Howard with the behind-the-back half-court shot, a little dance afterwards. He's getting going. You know who else is getting going early? Isaiah Livers. Look at that little transition. <laughs> nice little floater bucket. And Nebraska was giving the uh, the paint early. Dickinson with a nice block against 24 here. Uh, but lots of floaters available for Michigan. Good move here from the lime green shoes. All right, watch this guy, Allen, Teddy Allen. This is the guy to watch. He had some lime shoes. I'll show you some other lime shoes coming up. They were all over the court here. Look, you, you can also uh, take a look at 45 here, Delano Banton. He's also a guy who uh, was a big player for Nebraska overall. He also has some lime yellow shoes. Um, here's a, a nice defensive play from Franz Wagner. He was all over the court on both sides in this one, defensively showing out as well. Here's just an impossible shot that a lime shoes. Teddy Allen somehow gets past here. Just a no-look whatever layup. Dickinson is just like, what am I going to do against that? Um, good pass here from Livers over to Eli Brooks. Puts down a three. He didn't have his best game, but put down a couple big shots here. Here's Banton with his yellow shoes and all, putting in a basket there. Teddy Allen with a deep three. Uh, decent closeout from Mike Smith, but he gets the call for a foul there. So three free throw shots. Again, another floater. Franz Wagner, that one attacking. Uh, they were giving those to Michigan all day. This guy, uh, Delino Banton, he looks like a little DJ Wilson-esque to me. Franz off the screen, able to nail a three. He gets his offense going early in this one. Here's another kind of impossible layup there for Teddy Allen to the basket. Somehow gets that one. This one I really want to point out. Really nice dish from Livers to Brooks to Mike Smith on the wing. So if we go back here, uh, you see number 11 right here collapsing to get onto Livers. Livers is going to recognize that on this backside you have these two players uh, and Franz Wagner here. So you have essentially these five players, two of which are Nebraska players that have to guard the perimeter here. So with that number 11 collapsing, that gives the numbers advantage. So he finds Brooks. Good job from Brooks attacking this ball. He knows, Brooks knows that he has Mike Smith on the wing here. So him attacking this ball is going to bring both of these defenders to this pass. When Brooks gets this, he immediately dishes it out before even landing to Mike Smith, and that's an impossible closeout, right? Number 24 is occupied down low from Dickinson. This guy is the only guy who can realistically close out there, and that's just way too much space for Smith to get a jump shot off, and he gets a three-pointer. Teddy Allen getting the ball back here from 24. Another just tough little fall-away jump shot, and that kid's good. Got to give him some credit here. Franz Wagner with his tough shot to respond there on the baseline. He already has, I think, probably close to 10 or 11 thus far impossible three again here for Allen this is a good defense from Brooks he's right in his face getting there and uh he's able to put that home and we'll get to the halftime stats here I thought 45 Banton here got away with a little push off you see that left arm right there that should be a, get called it doesn't matter though you got Brooks and look at this Brooks with a turnover here but look at these shoes you got the one baby blue the one lime green you got the yellow shoes here you, you got shoes all over the place I don't know who their shoe game is on here but nice little alley-oop to Livers who lands a little awkwardly but he turns out to be okay good defense here from Sean Brown, forcing a tough shot there here you have Franz Wagner coming off of the screen there from Johns another nice runner a little right hand hook little floater there. That's tough to defend against with his length, and when he generates that shot, that's a really good sign for Michigan. I thought Johns could have had a little bit better of a game there, giving up a basket there. He had a couple tough spots. Good job from Smith bouncing that ball back to Sean New Brown. Again, another floater in the lane for Michigan. Um, decent defense there, but you'd like to see Johns go up a little bit stronger. Offensive board for 24 there puts that back in. Here's a miss from Terrence Williams. Sean New Brown able to get that rebound. Should have been and one in my opinion, but he puts the the basket back and this is a, a play for Allen where you have livers and Shawnee Brown right there running into each other good help here from Terrence Williams just another kind of like no look behind the back layup for uh, Allen here's a nice outlet pass up to Shawnee Brown able to contain the ball and put it in for an easy layup and Michigan is tied at this point oh this was an almost ankle breaker 
posterizer dunk, except when I say almost, you forgot that this is Hunter Dickinson we're talking about. So there's a nice little crossover move. Hunter Dickinson says, no, thank you. I'm going to protect my teammate's pride. You are not getting the basket here. It is closed after hours. You're not allowed entry into the dunk zone there. I'm just saying words, but nice block from, Dun from Dunkinson, from Dickinson to block the dunk. Moving screen there. Eli Brooks, good job. Mike Smith off the screen here. Really nice bounce pass to Dickinson, who goes up strong with the two-hand slam. He's getting going early. Nice job, Dickinson, on the other side of the court, picking up the charge. You can see right there, boom, he's set. Feet are not inside the arc. Take the body. Mayan just bowled him over. That's an offensive foul. And then the other end, again, another nice pass down to Dickinson, able to get his own miss, put it back in. Michigan's up four here with under five and a half. Nice look there from Banton down low. Able to get a basket there. Here's another impossible layup from Teddy Allen. Able to keep close tie game again late in the first half here. Nice drive there from uh, Eli Brooks to get a good look for Livers. Just can't put it down. And meanwhile, you have Allen on the other side just hoisting prayers and just getting those to fall. So just that kind of half for Michigan overall. Brown able to respond here with a nice corner three of his own. So he was quietly having a really good game, especially in the second half. We'll get to that. But really good drive there from Banton able to keep – uh, the exchange of points there. He had a triple team there, and Brandon Johns able to rotate the ball over. Uh, and, again, couldn't hit the threes early, but good job from Franz battling down low for uh, that putback. And you can see the three-point percentage for Michigan just not there. Um, shooting well inside the arc at 45% and good bench points. But Teddy Allen there, you can see 21 points. Now, I'll, I'll spoil something for you. He ended the game with 25 points, so only four points allowed in the second half. Good little runner there. Good ball movement here for Livers and Mike Smith. Again, they force number 11 right there with that pass from Livers to commit, and that opens up Livers on the wing for a three, and he buries it. So just good ball movement. Bench loves it. You got a little windmill action. Shawnee Brown slapping the floor, doing a little pickup. Here you have a nice feed down low to Dickinson. A little left-hand spin. Bench loves that. And then you have number, number two here. He was a good player. McGowan's two with a step-back three with his lime yellow shoes, able to Cut into the run. I think Michigan was up eight there. And then you have two threes back-to-back -back here from McGowan's. And uh, they pulled within two there. Uh, good look here for Livers. Following his shot, but it doesn't matter. It goes in from three. This one I really want to look into. This was a great feed from Dickinson down low here. And he's he's attracting a lot of attention, right? He ended the half with a couple baskets. You can see there's three defenders really converging on Dickinson here. So what that does, you have these three converging. You have this cross-court pass to livers and simultaneously you're going to have Franz Wagner recognize there's a lot of open space here because 11 is the only guy here this is the only guy who can close out on livers in here so that's going to leave up a, a just a bunch of floor space underneath the basket so right off of that you can see the pass right there Franz Wagner's like playing chess out he's got he's one move ahead of these guys and really good look from livers to find that so good off ball movement and good look from livers to provide that Good job from Brooks with the strip there. He's going down the court, slows it down a little bit, setting up the offense. Good pass back to Livers, back to Brooks. They have a little slip screen there, pass to the wing for Franz, and he buries a three. So good job off of transition, setting up the offense. Get a little high five to Juwan Howard there. That's great to see too. <laughs> They're fired up. Here you got Allen with three of his four second half points, and that's kind of telling you how much they kind of locked him down if this is – Three of the four points, just a moonshot over the long length of Franz Wagner. And uh, if you're Michigan, you give those shots, all right? That guy's just shooting for the rafters, gets a bounce off the high glass. You'll live with that. And then Livers with a much higher percentage shot. Can't leave him alone in the corner. You got the gun out for Terrence Williams. Guy's a shooter. Nice feed over here to Banton. He picked up the offensive production since Allen calmed down a little bit, but a nice spin cycle there for Dickinson. That's just hard to defend against. A little step back jumper for Livers. Can't put it in, but you got the backside glass there for Shondre Brown. Put that in. And then good, good defense at the other end for Brown forcing the tough shot from Allen. He tries to pass it off, and no one's there and force a turnover. Here you have 45, though. Again, Delano Banton backing down Smith. That's a little bit of a height disadvantage there, and he puts in the fadeaway. And again, nice dish here from Banton to the wing. Line drive three that goes in. And Nebraska trying to stick around. Only down eight now. They were down 11. Turnover here. A little bit of a careless pass from Brooks. And the guy slams it home. Good athleticism from Trey McGowan's there. 
Brooks again dribbling to his right. Mike Smith with just a nice floater. You know, you've seen a lot of floaters, and Michigan's able to convert those at a high rate. Again, you like to see a little bit tougher on, on the defensive boards there, um, able to get that put back. And then, oh, I hate this play. So it's a turnover. Bad job from Dickinson there. But then number two here, he just stops in the path of Dickinson. I don't know what you do if you're Dickinson. You don't expect this guy to just stop. There's no reason for him to except for to pick up this foul. So I don't like that call, but you can't believe it. Dickinson's like, oh, I can't believe this guy just decided to stop right in front of me. It's, it's like a ridiculous kind of strategy, I guess. All right, Liver's able to with a nice dish here on the corner to Smith and three-point shooting finally starting to warm up for Michigan later in this game. Tough shot there, though, from McGowan's, and this is kind of the theme of the second half. Just a bunch of tough shots for Nebraska they're able to convert on. Good footwork there from Livers down low to put in that one off the glass. McGowan's, again, tough shot forced from Franz Wagner. Good job poking the ball out, and then just good hustle from Eli Brooks. Good vertical verticality on that to put in the layup, and Michigan's up nine again. But Nebraska's not going away behind Delano Banton there with a tough finish on the layup. Um, good defense there from Dickinson. Something to notice here. Uh, you have livers give up the baseline. The thing I like is that Dickinson goes straight up, establishes himself, goes straight up, able to get that rebound, force the really difficult shot under the basket. Livers again right there. I thought that was a clean block from Brooks. He did too. You can see him doing his best Trey Burke impression there. He thought it was clean. I thought it was too. Mike Smith here, really good job here. So let's actually, I'll play the play and then I'll go back through the uh, analysis here. But this is just a great bounce pass to Franz Wagner. So the thing I really like about this is they decided to just really hard hedge this, right? You have both these defenders going out here. Mike Smith's going to loop around here. And this guy is going to have to redirect and try to find a body, right? So Mike Smith's able to work around this. That guy is dropping off, trying to find a defender. And now you have like a, a certain number of matchups, right? You have these two guys here, these two guys here. The issue is you have this guy trying to get back to somebody, right? He's a giant question mark. And then you have two guys here that this guy has to decide what to do with. So that's exactly where Mike Smith goes to attack, right? He attacks where he has bodies. And right now he can pass to either one of these guys, right? He A little bit more creativity to pass to Franz here. But he also has a clean shot here and also on the wing here as uh, number two is helping. So he's lots of options as he's driving this, forcing the action out of this guy. If this guy goes down here to Franz, then that's an easy kick out for a wide open three. If he decides to either help out here or to go out to the wing, then you have Franz Wagner, who again, did a really good job finding the open floor under the basket. Since that guy is kind of leaning towards livers, that provides a lane of a bounce pass here to Franz Wagner under the basket. Mike Smith does exactly that, and that's exactly what he should have done. So just really good court vision, way to attack that, and able to fend off the, the tough hedge there on the, um, on the screen reaction from Nebraska and able to find Franz Wagner. And again, good off-ball movement. Uh, here's 45. Again, good length. This is a perfect defensive matchup for Wagner, able to force a tough shot. Um, and now we're close to the end of the game here, just about a minute left. And this three, I thought it was going to ice it for Michigan, but Franz misses. But Dickinson, he's there when you need him. A little butt slap there from Wagner. He's got his back. Bench loves it. One arm. You see the slap there for number two. He goes up strong, flexes on the basket there. Good job there. You see the bench all thought it was a three-pointer there, but then they just freak out. Got flexing the FNBO logo, and then that's all she wrote. That's it. Miss, miss three-pointer there, and Michigan holds on to the 11-point win. They improved to 7-0. Let's throw up some stats on the screen here. Wagner, Livers, and Dickinson. Also honorable mention to Brown. Wagner, I would say the big story at 20 points, 9 of 16 shooting. Nine rebounds as well, so one rebound away from a double-double. Livers had 17 points, really good showing from him. And then Dickinson with another double-double. Kind of a quieter game for him on, D or on, on offense with only 13 points, but really efficient day, 15 rebounds with two blocks as well. And then Shawnee Brown had a pretty quiet performance, 13 points, 5 of 8 shooting, but also pulled down 5 rebounds and performed really well on defense, especially keeping Teddy Allen in check in the second half. So three things. Uh, to note after this game. Number one, Franz, finding his groove is really huge for this team, right? Michigan's got it done without him uh, thus far this season, the first six six games. He's still been good on defense, especially, but uh, this was a real breakthrough game for Franz this season, leading uh, the Wolverines in scoring this one. So hopefully he can continue that uh, into the meat of this Big Ten schedule. Number two, Dickinson is questionably 
probably an all Big Ten level player right now. I mean, it's his th- third straight week of Big Ten freshman of the week. Uh, he just continues to impress and doing exactly what the team needs him to do as the lone true center on this team. So he's really impressing. I can't stress enough how important he is to this team right now. And then number three, uh, this is more of a like hope. Uh, if the three-point shooting warms up, I don't know how any other team really stops this Michigan team. It's already a really productive offensive team within the arc. But if their outside shooting can really warm up, like you saw in the second half of this game, then it's just a really, really dynamic offense for the Wolverines. It's really exciting to see. Um, so despite being only 33% in this game, um, you know, I think that that's, there's a lot of potential for this team to improve upon that moving forward. So again, 80-59 or 80-69, excuse me, is the final score on this one. 7-0 and on the season, taking on Maryland next 7 p.m. on New Year's Eve. I'll be doing a video on that one as well. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, all of that good stuff. Hope you guys have a great new year. Stay safe out there, and as always, go blue.